Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with CowWhispersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. We're going to be playing with the Hello Cupcake Celebration Stamp Set that you can earn right now for free with a qualifying order of $50 or more. And you may already have this. You may have already snatched this up. It's been super, super popular. We're going to be making a version of this card and what I'm showing you today is right now during the month of, Mar during the month of March or while supplies last, you can purchase the Call Me Cupcake Framelits. Look at these Framelits. They coordinate with the Hello Cupcake that you can get for free. You're going to want them. You're going to love them. So, let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. As always, in the top of the eye and below in the description, you're going to find links back to the blog post for this card. So, no worries about writing anything down. Let's go ahead and bring in our Melon Mambo. Get that good and inked up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I want to make sure I leave myself enough room. And I'm going to bring in my Simply Chamois. Clean that off. And I hear people make comments about your photopolymer stamp staining. That's normal, okay? Don't get heartburn over that. That is normal. That means your stamps are loved and used. Coastal Cabana. And if you're wondering what adorable paper this is, it's the How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper that you can get right now out of the Occasions catalog. Okay, let's clean that off. We'll set that aside. And now I'm going to bring in my soft suede for my cupcake base because I'm saying he, it's a chocolate cupcake. Now, remember, I'm going to be cutting all these out with my dies. So I'm just giving myself enough room on my Whisper White to make sure that I'm good to go. Perfect. And last but not least, it's got a little heart pick. I'm going to do that up in, uh, we can put that down here, in my Melon Mambo. All right, now also, I'm going to change the greeting up. This one I use Sweet Wishes. I'm going to use Sprinkle with Love. And I know I want to actually put some sprinkles, which come with it. So I'm going to do my sprinkles. I'm going to do it reverse this time. I'm going to put my sprinkles down. And my Melon Mambo, and then I'm going to bring my sentiment in, and I'm going to do it in my Coastal Cabana on top of it. And we'll see how that looks. Sprinkle with love. Oh, so cute, 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 cute. Now, I will tell you, I also have a piece of mint macaron. This layer back here, I went ahead and did the Melon Mambo, but I'm going to, and I'm going to go ahead and use my Melon Mambo on the edges of this too, and just go all the way around, okay? You're only going to see a little bit of it, but I thought it added just a little bit more fun and flair, and we can't get enough fun and flair, right? Just put it right down there. There we go. All right, so we've got all that done. Now, if you'll notice, let me shut my ink pads here so we don't have a situation. If you'll notice here on the base of this one, I used a scrap piece of my Wood Textures Designer Series paper. And I loved it because it's like a wood tray that it's sitting on. But after I created it, it was a little too covered up, so I'm going to push everything up a little bit. But this is the perfect way to use your scraps. Anytime you want to do a die, see how that's going to go right on there? So, let me die cut all these pieces, and then I will be back. Okay, I'm back. Got all my pieces die cut, and I will tell you... I have a piece of Whisper White for the inside of the card, and I'm going to go ahead and put just a few sprinkles down here at the bottom, just to kind of carry that on inside. And I'm just dropping it down a little each time, okay? 
So we got that done. Now we can assemble this card. Like I said, I'm going to shift everything up. Let's save that till the end. Let's bring in our designer series paper. This time I'm going to use this at the bottom and the, the polka dots at the bottom and from the How Sweet It Is designer series paper. And I'm going to use my Tombow because it's going to allow me just a little bit of wiggle room. Just make sure you get the corners. And then I'm going to use my stripes at the top. Variation is the spice of life. Am I right? So, wiggle room is good. Love us some wiggle room. And then, like I told you, we're going to we're going to shift up our cupcake. And I've also decided to go with ovals instead of my circle punches this time. That's our prerogative to change things up. Plus, it gives you two different variations of the card slide that over got me a piece of melon mambo here put that right across the middle and now let's i'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go backwards on the way I assemble this because I want to see. I know I want those stacked like such, so let's just go ahead and do that. Sometimes you can go backwards and get a better feel for placement. So let's put our cupcakes stacked together. And then I want just a little bit of he adhesive on this. like that and see now I can see kind of where I want to put that let's go ahead and put our sentiment on top of our scallops and I will tell you I use the layering ovals and I got a little glue on my finger let me show you what to do about that in just a second here's the layering ovals if you don't have them can't recommend them enough you get both the scallop and the plain this is the second from the largest on the plane and the second from the largest on the scalloped, okay? Let me reach around here real quick and grab my eraser, adhesive eraser. I have a tip video on that. You can just type that in. See, anytime you get adhesive on there, just do that and it'll come right off. So let's see how I want this to look. I'm gonna say we're gonna go up a bit. Yes, I'm liking that. All right. Now you can see why I've got my Tombow out because I need just a tiny, tiny little bit to go across this top part. Don't you love the wood? So this gives me an idea of about where I want it. And if you get some Tombow on your cardstock, don't worry. It dries clear. Loving that. And I've got my little heart, so I'm not going to go all the way to the edge of my cupcake because I want to be able to slide that in. But now that I've got this all assembled, you see how much easier it's going to go together? I can set that on my tray. Get it good and straight like such. Okay. Yes, I'm definitely liking it better to the side, but you guys decide for yourselves. Here's my little heart pick. I've got a wee bit too much adhesive on there, but we'll be good. Take it, and I'm going to just slide it up under there at an angle. Push that down, and then we're going to throw some dimensionals on the back and put our inside on. I've got my piercing tool. Just stick it on there and flick it with your wrist. No fighting those. We're going to place this right down here. And we've got our adhesive. Let's just go ahead and put that on the base of our card. And put our inside on. Cute, cute, cute. I know so many of you already have 
received this celebration item as your choice. Now you can grab those dies. That's what everyone said. Wouldn't it be great if we had dies? Well, there you go. While supplies last, remember, through the end of March or while supplies last. Because some things have sold out. Don't miss out. Grab them while you can. Okay, loving it. Two different versions. Got to say, this one's my favorite for sure. Get that adhesive off there. There we go. Hello, Cupcake. Earn it for free right now. And the Call Me Cupcake Framelit Dies. Purchase them right now in the month of March. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.